Hello everyone, my name is Decker Link, the Trained Dumb Professional, and welcome to Talking Back. This Talking Back comes very, very soon after the last one, uh, and so it's probably to be expected that I don't have too many comments on this one. Honestly, I could have a whole bunch of comments on this one, but most of them had to deal with the Jason effects thing and uh, stuff like that, and honestly, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Uh, so I didn't include those, which pretty much left me with three uh, comments that I wanted to highlight in this particular episode. So this one's probably going to be a bit shorter if I don't uh, if I don't yammer on forever. Which when has that ever been an option? Whenever I don't yammer on forever, fucking right. So the first one we have already on screen right now is from Yoshi Stover. Yoshi Stover says, "Nice haircut, lol." I'm going to take this to mean that you like the new blue do. Uh, even though this was this comment was left a week ago uh, <laughs> on a video that came out months ago, I'm still going to take the compliment. So yay, trying to keep things positive. Woo! <laughs> oh fuck, this comment's huge. Oh, God damn. Furry Bureau of Investigation Agent Fox says, for anxiety, kids do have anxiety. Tests, exams, job interviews. A big part of what I was trying to say in my response to just on effects and Jake was that mental disorders do not all inherently come from things you've gone through trauma plays a big part in many mental disorders many mental illnesses I should put them they are a sickness for fuck's sake um, but not all of them are and to think that any circumstance can elicit the exact same response out of you and literally everyone else is utterly stupid. Because any stimuli, any stimulus, because any stimulus can happen to you, to me, anybody, and will result in infinite number of different responses. Now there may be correlations uh, based off of what is and isn't exactly standard responses, but when it comes down to it, anxiety does not always come from having gone through some shit. Uh, it does not come from just having your phone taken away or going through something like that. Um, anxiety can literally just come from a genetic malfunction in the brain does not allow the same amount of chemicals to uh, react in certain ways that can elicit feelings of anxiety and this comment right here is basically siding with my point that kids do have reasons to have anxiety uh, but I want to make it very clear that you know there is a difference between clinical anxiety and feeling nervous Tests, exams, job interviews in a healthy brain are perfectly reasonable reasons to feel nervous. That can be sweating of the palms, shakiness, and uh, uh, frequent needs to go to the bathroom, etc. But having clinical anxiety is not just being nervous. Clinical anxiety is, you know, being unable to look someone in the eye because you fear that they will know everything about you and therefore they will you will they'll ruin your life or something like that not being able to go outside the home because you fear you're gonna die not being able to uh, you know, clinical anxiety is a lot more than just nervousness uh, and that is it is something that can be caused by trauma but it is not a hundred percent caused by trauma and as such if you're just saying that kids have a reason to be nervous then yes Absolutely, anyone has a reason to be nervous, because for a kid, tests, exams, job interviews, their life has only been a few years long, and so they that is the most stressful thing they have ever gone through in their lives. So they don't have a reason to believe it can get any worse. And adults have many reasons to get nervous, but being nervous and having clinical anxiety are not the same thing, so whether or not you were trying to with this comment side with me or not, which I appreciate you trying to be informed on it, I just wanted to clarify that point that not all mental illnesses are caused by trauma, some are you're born with, including having clinical anxiety, and that clinical anxiety 
And being nervous are not the same thing. Neither is being sad and having depression. Not the same thing. So there you go. Look at this. Bwop. <laughs> How the hell do I even pronounce this? Vizix the Lynx says, Enters this place looking for questions and answers, but only finds questions. This is the last uh, comment that I'm going to do uh, for this episode. Uh, like I said, it didn't get too many because of the whole Jason effects thing. Most of them were super serious, and I don't want to be a super serious episode. Uh, this one isn't so much a question as it is an opportunity to, uh, uh, to explain. Oh god! So I have a Discord server, link for which is in the description of the YouTube video. I don't know uh, if it's in the link of the stream or not. I wanted to clarify this for anyone who is on the Discord server. The questions and answers thread, or room, or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't really know anything about, uh, the dis about Discord at all. Uh, thanks to Shark and all the mods on the server who take care of that shit for me, because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Um, the questions and answers thread used to be for when I'm on stream to do a live Q&A and Shark would get on there with me and we would uh, read them aloud and we would just answer them live but then a lot of people started asking like why don't you just do this for talking back and so I just started doing it for talking back and now there really isn't a place for them to be done live anymore unless I'm doing a live talking back so that's what these are for. So the questions and answers thread is probably going to be changed for questions for talking back. That's probably going to be the new name of it here soon. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why there's no actual answers in the questions and answers thread. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, that's probably going to be it for this talking back. Both the live version and the video version for YouTube. My throat is feeling terrible. I'm snotting up a storm. It's not pretty. Uh, what do you call a URL for one of Decker's channel? A Decker link. Uh. Thank you all very much for joining me. Uh, thank you very much for helping us get to 3,700 subscribers. God damn it. it, it we're only 300 away from getting to our goal. Our goal is to get to 4,000 before my birthday, which is May 26th. According to Social Blade, we have slowed down a little bit. Uh, our, we're now set to get to 4,000 by uh, like the 1st of April. So let's see if we can speed that up a little bit more. We were supposed to uh, get there originally at like the end of March, but now we're up to the beginning of April. <laughs> But as long as we get there before May 26, we'll beat our goal. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained and professional. Speaking for the voices on my head when I say, Fare thee well. Bye, everyone! Bye! Thank you for liking the blue hair. Bye. God, I'm sick and gross. Ugh.